On a hot summer day in 2006, Superintendent Scott May forgot his sunscreen, and that's when the light bulb went on. Was in a hurry, and literally, uh, come the afternoon, not only was my grass wilting on a on a day that I didn't really think it ought to have been, uh, my neck and ears were burnt, and it was really just kind of a, a eureka moment. My assistant and I uh, grabbed everyone's human sunscreens and put them in a five-gallon bucket and wiped them, rubbed them, sprayed them, however they needed to be put on the turf and just laid the, the jugs there and came back the next day. Sure enough, the only ones that were living were the all-natural sunscreens and you turn any all-natural sunscreen over and you're gonna read the words titanium dioxide and, and zinc oxide. Not familiar with the attributes of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, Scott began researching. Sure enough, over the whole process, finding a lot of really good attributes between titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and, and how it can help a, a turf manager. But isn't sunlight necessary for healthy turf? Obviously, every living plant needs the sun to do its thing and, and make energy. So blocking that um, isn't necessarily the, on the top of my head, was the greatest thing to do. But once you, you really studied how detrimental UVB is, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are the highest all-natural minerals, um, the highest refractive index you can find. And, and precisely because it's so white, it, it's pretty basic. It reflects the sun away from where that is applied. To make it acceptable for use on the golf course, turf screen contains some pigment. My goal with the color was literally to make it the least objectionable color possible. And I was kind of going after that 50% reduction of UVB, because uh, that's what in agriculture, a 50% 50, 50 reduction kind of equated to a bigger yield of better quality crop. So I was shooting for 50%. Well, on turf, um, you know, for, for a couple different reasons, I think, lighter rates, which would take you under that 50% UVB, proved to be effective. Scott says turf screen is best used in conjunction with an overall maintenance program. And independent testing has borne that out. With a fungicide, labeled fungicide rate, uh, chlorothalonil, we were getting over 28 days dollar spot control. Uh, the plant turf quality tests were uh, significantly increased. We turned the water off for 21 days and the turf screen plots were head and shoulders um, above anything else out there. And, and particularly, you know, no superintendent's going to turn the water off for 21 days in the, you know, the hottest summer ever recorded in Columbus, Ohio. So it was a, you know, a pretty uh, good bellwether type test that, uh, you know, really cemented it that it, turf screen absolutely improves turf quality. These superintendents uh, are doing crazy things to grass anymore and memberships demand uh, crazy expectations and there's a product that um, I think on a lot of people's eyes is uh, you know just helping uh, you know people maintain better turf in those kind of extreme conditions day in day out.